Hi, I'm Matt with Meat Church. Let's do something different for this holiday season. How about Creole butter turkey breast? We have lots of turkey videos on our channel and recipes on meatchurch.com, but over the past few years, one of my favorite things to make at Thanksgiving is a whole turkey lobe. It's like a gigantic turkey breast. It's extremely popular here in Texas. Pretty much every major barbecue joint will have this on their menu really since the pandemic. Uh, brisket prices got so high, turkey became very, very popular, uh, and it was a way that barbecue joints could actually make money on an item uh, that they're selling. And so the first time I had it, if you've watched any of our previous videos on this from years ago, like our Texas style uh, turkey breast, uh, we seasoned it with our beef rub, our holy cow. Uh, when I first had it, Lance Kirkpatrick down at Style Switch in Austin fed me turkey seasoned with salt and pepper. And I wasn't expecting that pepper forward punch and I loved it. And uh, if, you're, if you've been a follower for a while, then I'm sure you've tried that. This is gonna be a little bit different. In that video, we slather with mayonnaise um, you know we simply season with holy cow and it's awesome my kids love it we slice it for sandwiches but today i thought let's let's go to my cajun influence i love frying turkeys also so a cajun fried turkey uh, is often going to be injected my favorite way to inject is with a creole butter you can make it usually i just buy it uh, in my local academy or grocery store whatever and then i'm going to season with our voodoo which isn't necessarily a Cajun rub, but it's salt forward and it's definitely Cajun influence and it's great on turkey. So we're gonna, we're gonna put those things um, together today. But anytime I do turkey, I'm gonna impart serious moisture by brining it to start with. You guys know our bird baptism brine is always our number one product through the fall. Whether you use mine or use someone else's, this is wildly popular. And I'm telling you, no matter what I've ever taught you guys, brining your turkey, is the way to go. And so today's gonna be crazy juicy because we're gonna brine it and we're gonna inject it. But when I compete in barbecue, that's what I did with my chicken. I brined it and I injected it and it's gonna be great. So what did we do? Well, I took, um, the, the instructions for this are on the package, but I took bird baptism brine and I heated it up in a pot of water and uh, just stirred it until it dissolved. You don't have to bring it to a boil. You just really want to dissolve all the salts, but key, you've got to let that liquid completely cool down before you put it in your brine container, whatever you're using. Um, I'm using a Yeti Roti today. This is great at holidays because people's refrigerators are often full. So you can load this with the brine um, and your turkey breast or whole turkey, put ice in it and keep it cool overnight and keep it outside of the house. And that always makes Mrs. Meat Church happy, but brine and whatever uh, you want to brine. So I've got a turkey lobe here that I brined last night and I need to rinse this off and pat it dry uh, before we move on to injecting and seasoning it. So I'm gonna walk over to my sink and get that done and I'll meet you back here in just a second. Turkey lobe is, uh, is ready to roll. This is just over five pounds, by the way. Um, fortunately, I can get them here at my local HEB grocery store, uh, but check with your grocer because they're becoming more and more popular. Uh, since Texas Barbecue started rolling these out, uh, more and more people are able to find them. But if you can't, you certainly can do this with a, a bone-in breast as well. All right, I got my uh, Tony Saturi's Creole butter here. Now, I'll use a whole jar for a whole turkey. I probably won't use that much for this, and I'll just discard the rest today. Uh, I'm fine using the needle that come with it, actually quite used to it, but I just kind of go like a one-by-one one pattern. And what I do is I push the needle all the way in, basically, and as I'm as I'm pressing in the plunger, I'm I'm pulling it out, and I'm, I like to do this like with with the grain. But I also do kind of three different directions in the same puncture hole, and you'll see it see it start to kind of puff up. So this is really preference. Put however much you want in it. Uh, Creole butter is delicious. I don't think you can overdo it, but that's uh, that's totally your call. She's all injected up, super plump. As you can see, there's injection all over the board. Some may say I went a little overboard, but I don't think that's possible with butter and turkey. I'm gonna start on the back side. So I, I like to add a little pepper. This is totally optional. Just a little coarse cracked pepper uh, on it. If you want, I like the texture, I like the taste. 
Mainly, uh, we're going with our voodoo here. I'm gonna top it with just a touch of our garlic and herb, which I always say is a really delicate seasoning. But just keep in mind you are, you know, using multiple seasonings, so you don't wanna, you don't wanna overdo it. But I'm telling you, this one's very delicate. Looks really nice, has great flavor. And it's already, you know, it's super duper wet, so I'm just gonna flip it over and go to the other side. Star of the show is definitely voodoo. Uh, this is our top seasoning, so I'm sure most of you know that this flavor is great. And uh, But if you're new to us and are concerned because there's a hint of heat in it, uh, this is not spicy after you cook it, and your family would like it just fine. But if you're still worried, certainly could use our honey hog, our gospel, our holy gospel, or our Texas sugar. All great uh, choices on turkey. All right, let's talk about cooking. You could let this sit here 15 minutes or so. I'm going to end up throwing it right in the pit. Today, I'm running my mill scale 94-gallon offset smoker. Now, you can cook this on anything you want. You can cook it in your oven. You can cook it on your pellet grill. You can cook it on your Kamado, your two-zone fire uh, on, on some sort of charcoal grill, whatever you want. I'm going traditional Texas lobe here, so I'm going to put it in a smoker. I'm running post oak because I do central Texas style barbecue, and that's the wood that we use. But great choices would be hickory, pecan, or even fruit woods. Uh, wood is an ingredient, and so the lighter the smoke, the more delicate for poultry and fish is often a preference for people. It also impacts your color. Uh, but in this case, we're going post oak. We're just kind of doing what we do in Texas. Um, I'm running 275 degrees, like I said, and you can base with butter throughout if you want. I'm actually not going to do anything. Since it's loaded with so much butter, I'm just going to cook it until it's about 158, maybe 160 in the thickest part. Um, it'll continue to carry over, cook a few more degrees. And using your instant read thermometer, which you all should get, I'll put a link for this down in the description of the YouTube video. Uh, that's how you nail the desired doneness. So I'm going to throw this on the smoker, and we'll see you all in a little bit. I forgot the garlic and herb. Now we're ready. All right, y'all, it's been three hours and 25 minutes according to my little time stack here. And we've been temping this along the way. Uh, it just temped at 160 in the thick part, so I'm, I'm good with it. So we're gonna pull it off and get it over to the block. All right, well, there she is. Uh, looks awesome. And I'll tell you, Voodoo's not the prettiest rub we have for something like this. If you use, like, Gospel or Holy Gospel or even Honey Hog, it would be kind of a brighter, prettier color. Uh, but here's one thing we're going to do with this. What, one of the things I like to do with turkey is rest it in butter. So it needs to rest, let all that moisture redistribute throughout the meat. Plus, it's too hot to eat at this point anyway. So what I've got here is half a stick of butter that I've just cut in four pieces. Yes, I know there's a lot of butter on board. I know this thing's gonna be crazy juicy, but we're just gonna let it rest in this so while it's cooling down. Also, if you're trying to hold this, uh, maybe you're too early, this is a great way you know, to hold. But we're just gonna do this for about 15 minutes or so. And then we will be back to see how we did. All right, this turkey's been hanging out about 20 minutes or so. so. Let's unwrap it. Now she's got a pretty sexy sheen on her. Of course, I'm gonna take all that extra butter. Oh, why not? Man. Look at that golden color with that butter on there. Not gonna suck. All right, I'm gonna take some off uh, off the big end down here. I'm gonna take a few slices, get in the meat of this thing. It's got a pretty good crust on it. And you can tell, I'm sure that you can see uh, the injection here, but my Lord, talk about juicy. I'm gonna just hold that there for a second. That is just loaded with juice. That's probably why it took over three hours to cook. I mean, Talk about drip. That is not gonna suck, I predict. Just lay it down and, and see. 
All right. Jesus. That may be the best turkey I've ever had in my life. No cap, as the kids say. That is, that was more moisture than meat. That's insane. And let me get a different piece here. This is all smoke on the outside here. Just right through the middle, do you see white? It's pink all the way around. You can see obviously holes where we injected it. But I mean, predominant Creole butter flavor, uh, the voodoo and the garlic and herb on the outside with that post oak smoke. That's kind of like a crust. It's almost like a, it's almost like the outside of a ham, um, like truly like a bark, which isn't really all that normal on turkey. So I gotta tell you, that is, this is a banger. I mean, this is so dang good. You definitely need to try this. Uh, this is the first time I've actually ever injected a breast like this. I, like I said in the beginning, I inject uh, when I Cajun fry turkeys and I've never done this. And uh, I gotta tell you, um, this might be what's on our table at Thanksgiving this year. This will be my vote for sure. So if Mrs. Meat Church is down, I'm down. But be sure to check out all of our uh, holiday content videos. We've got like 20 something turkey videos of all types, spatchcock, fried, smoke fried, Norman Rockwell, you name it, we've got them all. All recipes are always on meatchurch.com. They're always down in the description as well as the tools that I use, but please like and subscribe. Your subscriptions are how we keep bringing you guys these free weekly videos every Wednesday morning. Thanks for being here and I'll see you all next week.